Today, we are going to a part of British Columbia that we haven't been before. Look at this view. Thanks, Patty. So this beach that we're trying to find is one of the more popular beaches here in Gibsons. It's full of uphill and downhill, so it's very challenging. <laughs> Our names are Nat and Max, a husband and wife travel duo that love visiting new places. And in this video, we're stepping into a region in British Columbia that we haven't been before, the beautiful Sunshine Coast. Sunshine Coast is well known for its pristine natural landscapes, vibrant communities, and laid-back towns where you can rejuvenate and relax. And after hiking up to the snow walls in Whistler last week, we're crossing over to a much-needed relaxing weekend trip at the first town from taking the ferry, Gibsons, BC. Almost missed the ferry. We were the last passengers to board. <laughs> it is so sweet under the sun. And even if my pocket's empty, I don't really want to go to work. Mm, no, no, no. It is so sweet. We have finally made it to Sunshine Coast. So we finally made it here at Sunshine Coast which is really exciting because it's our first time here and we're currently here at the Gibson's Landing. This is actually a last minute trip that we decided to take that's why we boarded the BC ferries as a foot passenger. Normally we would take our car and exploring new places like this so we can go around but surprisingly even if we're going by foot it's easy enough to just pop in there and commute to this place. So since we don't have a car, we bought day pass tickets for the transit. Uh, you can get two day pass. You can too. Yeah. I have no change. How much is it? Eight dollars. Eight dollars. Thank you. Thank you. So we can go around the town as much as we like. And plus, Gibson's isn't really that big, so I think we shouldn't have any problem going around this town. And we're just out here taking a little stroll by the harbor of Gibson's Landing because we're so excited for this weather. This weekend is supposed to be 25 to 30 degrees, which we have been wishing for for quite a while now for summer. It's finally here! Yeah. So we haven't checked in at our hotel. That's why we have our luggage and suitcases while going around the town. <laughs> Thanks, Pate. So since we're already by the water, we decided to have some seafood for lunch here at Gibson's Landing. So this restaurant is called Grandma's Pub and it's really nice because it's close to the water and you can see the harbor from here. So you can enjoy the scenery while you're having lunch. Also super loving this patio because it's a super hot day today. So I, we're just enjoying the fresh breeze from the ocean. All right, six pack on. Yep. There we go. That looks good. That's so good. Thank you. That looks so amazing. So I got the prawns and scallops in a skillet with bread. And while I got a three-piece fish tacos which looks really awesome. And I think you got some mangoes in there too. Wow, very tropical. Ah, it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Blow it up first. Hey, mermaid dog. Of course, you can't go wrong with tartar sauce. That is a mango. That's a little bit of freshness with the tacos. And the fish is really good too. Is it fresh? Really fresh. So I think the fish tacos has a sweet and spicy sauce and I didn't know that goes really well with the mango. Well, Max is still trying to eat her, her scallop. Mmm, really good. really hot. Mm. After having a delicious meal by the water, we started walking around the cute little town of Gibson's. The town center isn't that big, but it's filled with colorful local shops and restaurants. Think of it like a small beach town. There was also a farmer's market and a jazz festival, which we absolutely love. So we found a nice little spot here by the visitor center and in front of Wine Garden Park because it's quite warm to be under the sun today and it's kind of nice because it's overlooking the water of Gibson Landing. 
Plus, there's a jazz festival happening, so it's a nice area to just listen to the music and relax here by the park. And aside from the jazz fest happening, there's a lot of events this weekend here at Gibson. There's a farmer's market and some pop-up local shops. And also, this is the first video that we're making that the secret is officially out. I'm officially 12 weeks pregnant right now and everything seems to be pretty normal. <laughs> I just get hungry easily and get tired a lot. <laughs> and I guess we couldn't keep the secret any longer because look at how big that is. <laughs> So we are gonna get some ice cream, but I think after that we're gonna head out to our hotel to check in because it's been a while that we've been carrying this luggage <laughs> and people are starting to stare at us. That's one of the adjustments that we are taking right now with traveling. Max, instead of having a big backpack, he's probably gonna have like a rolly. Looks like we're going to stay here for a week, but we're only staying for one night. <laughs> So here's also the downside of traveling without a car is you gotta somehow organize your commute to the hotel. You have to know the schedules of the bus and Gibson being a small little town, the buses are not that frequent here. So we just checked in in our hotel for the night. Here in Gibsons, we found a pretty cheap hotel called the Sunshine Lodge. There are two buildings for this hotel and they are a five minute walk apart. So we just checked in in the main building and had to walk to the other building just to see our room. And also, the other amenities are in the other building as well. So if we wanted to use the pool, we'd have to go back and walk for five minutes. So we just might skip the pool for today because we're pretty tired. I think the heat kind of drained us a little bit. We're kind of sticky <laughs> at this point. But tomorrow will be a brand new day here in Gibsons. Welcome to a bright and sunny day here in Gibsons. Right now, the plan is to grab some breakfast at the nearby pastry shop, which is just right around the corner. And then we're gonna check out some of the best beaches here in Gibsons. So we're just checking out at the moment, but you guys can see our hotel for the night. Quite cool, but it's just right beside the road. So the good news is that we don't have to go all the way to the other building just to check out. So we just left our keys in the room and we're good to go. You look like you're going to Hawaii or something. <laughs> it's summer! Hi, morning. It's a good thing that our hotel is just right across this big shop. So we just grab a couple of tarts here at Wheatberry's Bakery. I got the pecan tart. It's really soft and not too sweet. Just the right amount. And it looks like they just opened, so all of the goods are freshly made. We just actually saw them baking up the muffins and putting it out, so we know that the goods are really fresh. So while Max got the pecan tart, I got the apple almond tart, which is looking really good right now. Look at that, goodness. It's another hot day here at Gibson's. It's a good thing that this big shop has a patio seating where you can enjoy the cool breeze of the morning. One thing we noticed too with the pregnancy is Max's appetite got a little bit smaller but more frequent. <laughs> right? It seems like her stomach started shrinking to make room for the baby and then she needs to consume more food but on a smaller scale. But it's every hour. <laughs> <laughs> so I think Max and I are gonna try to walk to the next spot because it's gonna take us half an hour just to wait for the bus. It's just a 10 minute walk, right? Yeah. It's also downhill, so should be okay. We're getting pretty close, guys. I can see the ocean from here. So 
a way to get around it. If you want ice cream in the morning, you get an affogato. <laughs> The challenges of not bringing a car continues as we waited and waited under the beams of the sun and no bus has arrived. So we started walking and then this happened. There's the bus! <laughs> we should have waited five more minutes. <laughs> it's not more than five. All right, I guess the walking adventures continues for Nat and Max because the bus that we were expecting just suddenly passed us. It was quite late, but I guess that's because it's a Sunday schedule, but we missed it, so we're just walking to the beach now. <laughs> on the brighter side, it's not a bad day to walk under the sun. So this beach that we're trying to find is one of the more popular beaches here in Gibsons. It's called Georgia Beach and it took us quite a while to find this one because we missed the bus and it took around 10 to 15 minutes of a walk just to get here from the town. Full of uphill and downhill so it's very challenging. <laughs> With the luggage and all. <laughs> After walking quite a while, we finally found Georgia Beach. It's not your typical beach, it's quite hidden in the residential areas and since we didn't have a car, we just hiked all the way here. If you search this place in Google, it doesn't tell you if you're going uphill or downhill. It just tells you what time you're gonna get there and how to get there. And yeah, we did quite an uphill. And also there's not a lot of parking spots over here in this beach. And I think we're lucky enough to grab one of these picnic tables. And we're just enjoying the fresh breeze from the ocean. 